ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Bumps Podcast. It's your boy, the host of the most rapid fighting guy, Wiki ECG and Manila. It's your boy, the VG, start the ego, feed the soul. Tonight, Yanis Antetokounmpo, Greek freak, the Nigerian king. I need you to have another game. And you know what? Another thing, too. To all you suckers out here talking ill on Drew Holiday, what about your Matt James Harden that came in the same draft as him? Huh? I'm going to start doing like Shaq. Every time I, I prove you suckers wrong, I'm just going to ask you. Tell me on my ass, please. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about into that. But guess what? I'm going to Shaq it right now, okay? Because I don't know what y'all are on. When y'all be disrespecting Drew Holiday as if he's not a great, a good player. Sorry. I, I caught myself there saying great. I'm not going to put that title on him. Not yet, but he's a good player. You know what I mean? He's a journeyman. He plays on both sides of the court. We see what happened last game. He don't make those two plays. I mean, Giannis did his thing. You know what I mean? And that's why I, like, I, every day I'm going to have praise for Giannis. But let's give something up to somebody who filled a role who filled the spot that they needed because we already knew it was a three-headed monster with Giannis, Middleton, and Drew. Middleton's gone. Drew has now stepped up a bit more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Especially on the defensive side. He guarded Jason Tatum. He guarded Brown. And yes, I know the other players on the team were doing the same thing, but he's very successful in guarding those two gentlemen. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, Bucks, they need to win tonight because I don't see them if it goes to game seven, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna feel a little shaky, baby. Yeah, uh, you see, I, I have to disagree with you on, on the tournament thing because he's only played for three teams. Um, so that one I have to disagree with you on. I mean, he was drafted by Philly. Um, you know, uh, obviously Pelicans slash Hornets, whatever you want to call it. But for me, is I think Drew Holiday is one of the most underrated players since he's been drafted. Yeah. Because he, he's been solid since he was drafted. Um, no, of course. No, I, I'm just, yeah. I, it, I just, he's very underrated, bro. Um, he doesn't get enough respect he deserves. And I applaud you for always, you know, seeing that and telling people that. And I think we, we've both been on that, on that boat before. But that last game, bro, Drew Holiday, that was phenomenal. I mean, that cold-blooded three when he stepped into it, um, obviously that block, and at the end of the game, the strip. Um, listen, that was a phenomenal performance. It was a phenomenal performance by the Bucks. But yeah, the game was just great. It was yeah. a great game. I think it was a classic game, in my opinion. Boston, Boston lost the game, though. As much as, much as I want to give credit... To the Bucks, mm -hmm. Boston lost that game though. They made a lot of bonehead moves. I didn't understand. I mean, even the strip. Jason Tatum's running up the other side, butt naked. It's a simple catch the ball, look, throw it to him. Well, well, hold on there. But in that is a situation here where we go back and, and, and it would be like a uh, Warriors, Draymond Green, Kevin Durant situation. In that situation. Who has who needs to have the ball in their hands? The scorer. Uh, yeah, I mean your superstar. I mean the scorer, the person that can uh, create their own shot in any scenario, and yeah. that would be Tatum or Brown. I didn't understand why Marcus Smart, you know, having the ball, but I see that a lot of time in the Boston um, scheme or the game plan. Yeah, they want to get those guys up into their spots or into their positions. So that, you know what I mean? It's a catch-and-shoot situation, right? But, yeah, Gian Giannis, you already gave us 240 points. Take the night off, 25, 10, and 12, and we'll call it a wrap, all right, Giannis? You've done enough, my king. You've done enough, right? <laughs> you gave us 240s. I mean, a third, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't be upset if you gave us a third. But all I'm saying mm -hmm. is, you see what Bobby bitch. Yeah. yeah. Bobby bitch. My brother and I could probably bleep that twice, but it's okay though. Y'all gonna hold that shit. Told y'all niggas about Bobby Porter. And oh no, he's just, oh, no, no. 
That's another guy, B, I be talking about. That's why I tell y'all, I be watching the games. I might be wrong on certain things, but I be extremely right on others. Don't get it twisted, all right? But anyway, you see, hold on. What you see, you see, a lot of people talk, but but they 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 talk and they talk about teams that they don't watch. They don't. All the people talk and they only follow two teams. So how can you speak about the game if you don't only follow two teams? Damn, I don't know. If you follow, the, if you follow, the, if you follow the league, then you know, you know what the king is talking about, Bobby. You don't follow him, so you know. Go. And <laughs> yeah, he doesn't show up on the, on your big screen ESPN all the time, but. If you follow the games and you watch the game, you understand what King was talking about. Just put yeah. them on blast. Put, put them on. Put them on blast, King. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> hey, yo, listen. I don't blame you, fam. That's why sometimes I'm just like, yo, man, mess with me, yo. Pause. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm how, 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 yeah. How are we supposed to have a conversation about the game or about this and that when you only you only follow two teams and you only run on ESPN and catch what's on there? That's it. You can't have a conversation. <laughs> Hey, listen, for, for, for some people, you know, they look at it like you didn't play D1. I didn't. I only played up high school and then street ball and some rec league. But I've always watched basketball. And you know what? To be honest, even when it comes to me and Vinci, sometimes me and Vinci see two different things. You know? And shout out to Sly. He's not, he's not, he's not in here today. So, sorry, we'll get him back hopefully next week. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a... It's not a situation where I think I'm always right, but I might see something a certain way or see a characteristic in a player or in a in a play and be like, that should work, that shouldn't work. What are you doing? I mean, I had a gentleman tell me that we shouldn't even blame uh, Steve Nash for the collapse of the Nets, that it's all KD and Kyrie. And I'm like, the fish rocks from the head down. From the time the uppers, the people at the top doing the hiring, the people who own the team, from the time they're incompetent, that incompetency goes all the way through the damn league, all, all, all the way through the damn team. You don't believe me? Look at the Dallas Cowboys, prime example. Those guys got how much talent? They've got potential talent, but because their owner is a Coco for Coco Puffs and all he cares about is money and being the guy who built it, they ain't going nowhere. Look at the Patriots. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for Brady saying how much he loves Bob, Bob Kraft, you wouldn't even know what he looks like. Can somebody? <laughs> Can somebody tell me what the owner of uh, – well, actually, no, that's a lie because all these owners you can see now. But before you didn't see these owners so much. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Same thing goes Same thing goes for this year. You, you know what I mean? Like, at, at the end of the day, I don't care what you think about me saying that the coach has something to do with it. You know what I mean? Because the coach does. Who knows him? Yo, I wasn't a big fan of his. But guess what he does? He makes adjustments. He figures out game plans. You know what I mean? He tries to put Giannis and him in the best position. He's got them playing team ball. They, I like, see, you sorry, I'm talking too much. Go ahead, and Vinci. Yo, but you're right. You're absolutely 200% right. You see, the thing is, though, these people out here just sit there and they said, oh, you cannot blame the coach. What you just said, what you just explained, is the reason why you need a coach. Is to see what the players cannot see on the floor. Yes, the players are the one that make the buckets, but you need the player to make the adjustments. You need, I mean, sorry, the coach to make the adjustments. You need the coach to put the player in a better position. You need the player to the coach to see if that guy doesn't match up. So, I mean, come on, are we watching Brooklyn here? Where, where does Brooklyn ever make adjustments? Brooklyn has, they have the pieces that they should play, but they're on the bench. Mm. Yeah, sometimes. And that's another thing, too, man, I try to say. But, you know, like I said, I'm just going to digress on that one. Yet again, this is going to be a slobber knocker. We are going to get a super tight game tonight. And I'm going to say it like I said it the other night when they won. Shouts out to Phase 1. You checked them out on Spotify. They're also on Stereo. I mess with them guys. Pause. Heavy. Those are my dudes. Listen. Saeed, Kason, Brandon. Excuse me, sorry. I had to get another win out of me. You know, that's that's what I call burping now. I had to get another win out of me because I told y'all it was going to win that night, and I'm telling you they're going to win again tonight. And Giannis is a warrior. The blood coming down the face, 
the narrative, the storyline for that game is going to be told for years. Because they shouldn't have won the game. Giannis hits the three, gets the M, or not the M one, gets the foul, hits one, misses the second one, Bobby tips it in to put them up. I mean, yet again, watch the games and then talk to me, player. Don't watch no highlights. Watch the game and talk to me, player. Speak to me nice. <laughs> Speak that facts, yo. Yeah, um, so, so Bucks went tonight, you say? Bucks win tonight, man. It's going to be close, though. You think Giannis go for another 40? Close out game? Giannis could, but 27, 13, and, and, and 9. You know what I mean? Like 25, 10 10. actually. 25, 10, and 10. That was, you know what no. I mean? Oh, that's I all, that's I mean, all I need from him, man. Yeah, he, I think he should give you over. over. In the mid 30s, um, 14 boards, who knows? Um, and if holiday, holiday gives you 25 or something, and you get, yeah. you get from Bobby or Cutting, be good. Listen, all, all I'm saying is, I know I'm saying this is all I need from you, honest. You're just gonna give me more, but I'm saying I ain't got no James Harden problem over there. Giannis has played every single game and he's trying to win. I'll admit it. Last year, I got told by a guy on stereo, and it's my fault. When I seen Giannis get injured, I didn't want to see him play. And Giannis went into the finals and performed like how a superstar is supposed to perform when he knows he's the man and he's the only hope. This is why Shaq gave him. Shaq said, if anybody's Superman, it's that man. Yeah, facts. You see? So, yeah. I ain't even going to. Giannis, I'm not saying take the day off because I know you're not James Harden. I'm just saying, for me, for me, my guy, I'm 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 good if you give me 25, 10, and 10, okay? If you win and lose, 25, 10, and 10, I am not blaming Giannis. I know it seems like I'm giving him a pass, but he be out there in the streets. You get me? But you have anything else you want to add, fam? Who you got tonight? I got the box winning, bro. Of course, because it's Boston. So you were never going to yeah. take Boston. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yes, I'll be a very happy man at the box for tonight. So let's go, Bucks. You know, Giannis is my boy. Drew Holiday. I got mad love for him. You know that. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, it's your boy. Listen, shout out to all the new subscribers, all the new listeners. We appreciate all you guys. Um, like I said, you can catch us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, Nini Streets. You can check us out on our IG page, um, Bounds of Opinion Sports. We are going to probably make a TikTok, put up a lot of reels there. Just got some stuff we got to work on first. A lot of work for it. my brother, the Punch Punch. Shout out to him, too. He's the reason why you guys are getting a lot of this stuff a little quicker. You know what I'm saying? The usual. He's figuring out a plan. He's the main editor. You know what I mean? Sometimes I touch it, but. Yeah, I mean, shout out to him. And um, yeah, it's the boy with the, the host of the most amount of time, Yawa KTCG and Manila. It's your boy, the Vinci star of the evil, the soul. So next time, people, peace and blessings.